We have this large problem here, and we're going to solve for it. There are some very specific parts that we need to pay attention to. In a digital communication system, the transmitter, so that's going to be everything on this side, sends a bit 0, event A0. So 0 is going to be A0, with the probability of A0 being 0 0.6. So that means whenever we send A0, the probability of this 0 being sent is 0 0.6 or a bit one, so that's gonna be event A1, being equal to one minus P0. Well, that's gonna just be 0 0.4. The communication channel occasionally causes an error in a way that is transmitted zero, and it's converted into a one. And a transmitted one is converted into a zero. We can see that like from here. So we get some errors. We have um, events B0 and B1, and we have this E, backwards E, I forget what it's called, but it's equal to 0 0.2. Now, we want to find the probability that a bit 0 was transmitted giving a bit 1. So that means we're trying to find the probability of A0 being transmitted given that B1 was received. And this is going to be equal to the following equation. This is all we essentially need to remember. Well, there's one more thing. So we're going to have the probability of A0 given our B1 and then we have the probability of A0 actually being sent. And this is all divided by the probability of B1. These are the equations that we're going to be using. Now, the top are pretty easy. So the probability that this A0 is going to go to B1 is just this E right here, right? So that's going to be what this is. And the probability of our A0, we know, is just going to be this 0 0.6 right here. Now, the probability of B1 is a little bit different, so I'm gonna do it down here. The way we would solve this, the probability of B1 is gonna be equal to, we want to get B1, right? We know that there's two paths we can take. It's gonna be the probability of B1, this is gonna be the same thing every single time, given, we'll start off with the bottom one, A1. So that means the probability of A1 is gonna be here. And to this, we're going to add the probability of B1, given we are sent an A0, and then we just have the probability of A0 being sent. So in here, we're essentially going to have 1 minus that E, and then we have this being all multiplied by 0 0.4 plus our E times a 0 0.6. That's essentially going to leave us with a 0 0.8 times 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.6 for this problem. Remember, your numbers might be different, so check that. And that's going to give us about 0 0.44. So that's what we're going to plug into here. Remember, this E is going to be 0 0.2. So we're going to have 0 0.2 times 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.44. And that's going to leave us with 0 0.273. And that's how we would go about solving this problem. The answer here was incorrect. Good job sticking to the end.